Obsidian is often referred to as the second brain app. At first glance, its interface might seem overwhelming, but there is a huge potential hidden beneath. On the other hand, Evernote is a versatile note-taking application that combines text, images, and audio into a single platform, which enables users to capture and organize their thoughts easily. However, if you were to choose between either of these, which one would you go for? Let's find out. Let's start with how these apps feel when you open them. Obsidian offers a minimalist, no-frills experience. The first thing you'll notice is its blank workspace, designed for pure note-taking, without distractions. It feels more like a tool for thinkers who enjoy building their knowledge base from scratch. The navigation might seem overwhelming initially because of its focus on creating links between notes, but once you get the hang of it, it's like building a personal knowledge library. Now, compare this to Evernote, which feels polished and familiar, almost like opening an email client or a modern word processor. Everything is laid out clearly, from your notebooks to the templates and search bar. It's intuitive even for first-time users. Unlike Obsidian, Evernote doesn't just focus on writing. It's an all-in-one tool for saving clippings, images, and even audio notes. If you love pre-designed spaces to start working quickly, Evernote might feel like the more natural choice. Let's get into what makes Obsidian and Evernote special, looking at their features section by section. We'll go step by step, so you can get a clear idea of which app fits your needs better. Starting with Obsidian, it uses a plain text markdown editor for note-taking. What makes markdown unique is its simplicity. You use symbols like hashtags for headings or double asterisks for bold text. For example, if you want to add a title, you just type hashtag title. It feels like writing in a notebook, but with formatting tools right at your fingertips. Since notes are saved as plain text files, they're lightweight and incredibly fast to load. It's perfect for those who like to get straight into writing without dealing with distractions. Evernote, in contrast, offers a rich text editor that feels similar to using Microsoft Word. You can easily change fonts, add colors, and highlight text with just a click. Plus, there's an intuitive toolbar that helps you format notes without needing to remember any special symbols. Evernote also allows you to embed images, tables, and even checklists directly into your notes, which makes it great for creating visually organized content. When it comes to organizing your thoughts, Obsidian takes a unique approach with its bi-directional linking and graph view. Bi-directional linking means you can connect notes both ways. For instance, if you link a note about marketing strategies to another note on social media campaigns, Obsidian automatically creates a backlink in both notes. This way, you build a network of interconnected ideas. The graph view then shows these connections visually, almost like a web of your thoughts. It's ideal for researchers, writers, or anyone working on complex projects. Evernote organizes notes using notebooks, stacks, and tags. Let's say you're planning a wedding. You can create a notebook called Wedding Planning, add notes for venue ideas, guest lists, and budgets, and then tag each note for quick access. Unlike Obsidian's graph view, Evernote sticks to a more traditional structure, but it's straightforward and highly effective if you prefer hierarchy over connections. Customization is where Obsidian shines for those who love tweaking their tools. You can install plugins to add features like calendars, Kanban boards, or even advanced to-do lists. Obsidian's open source ecosystem has over 1,500 plugins, which gives you the freedom to build a workspace that fits your style. For example, if you're a project manager, you can use the Kanban board plugin to track your tasks visually. Evernote simplifies things with its ready-to-use templates. Whether you're journaling, managing a project, or keeping a daily planner, there's likely a template for you. For example, the gratitude journal template comes pre-formatted with sections for listing what you're thankful for, which makes it easy to get started. While it doesn't offer the same level of customization as Obsidian, it's perfect for those who want tools that work out of the box. If you often deal with multimedia, Evernote is a strong choice. It supports audio notes, so you can record your thoughts on the go. Imagine you're in a meeting and an important idea comes up. You can quickly hit record and capture everything without missing a beat. 
Evernote also allows you to embed PDFs, images, and even scan documents directly into your notes. Obsidian, on the other hand, is more text-focused. While you can add images and other media files, it doesn't have built-in features like audio recording. You'd need third-party tools or plugins to achieve the same functionality. For someone who primarily works with text, this limitation might not matter, but if you rely on multimedia, Evernote has the edge. Evernote takes the lead in searching with its OCR, Optical Character Recognition feature. This means you can search for text inside images, PDFs, and even handwritten notes. Let's say you took a photo of a whiteboard during a brainstorming session. Evernote can recognize the text in the image, so you can find it later by simply typing a keyword. Obsidian search is basic but efficient. It helps you locate specific words or phrases in your notes instantly. However, it doesn't support searching inside images or PDFs without external tools. If you're someone who often scans documents or works with visuals, Evernote's OCR feature is a significant advantage. Evernote is built with collaboration in mind. You can share notes with teammates and they can view or edit them in real time. This is great for group projects or team meetings where everyone needs to stay on the same page. The app also integrates well with tools like Slack and Microsoft Teams, which makes it an easy addition to your workflow. Obsidian is more of a solo tool. While you can share notes by exporting them, it doesn't have native collaboration features. If you're working alone or prefer keeping your work private, this might not be an issue. But for teamwork, Evernote offers more options. Obsidian is designed for offline use. Your notes are stored locally on your device, which ensures complete privacy. This setup is excellent for those concerned about data security or who want to work without an internet connection. However, syncing across devices requires extra effort. You'll need to set up a cloud service like Dropbox or pay for Obsidian Sync. Evernote, being cloud-based, automatically syncs your notes across devices. Whether you're on your phone, tablet, or laptop, your notes are always available as long as you have an internet connection. For someone who switches between devices often, this convenience can't be overstated. All right, Obsidian offers incredible flexibility through its plugin ecosystem. You can add plugins for task management, PDF annotation, or even daily habit tracking. It's like having a toolbox where you can pick and choose the tools you need. This level of customization is ideal for tech enthusiasts who like to design their apps to their exact requirements. Evernote focuses on built-in features, but also supports integrations with popular tools like Google Drive, Slack, and Zapier. These integrations make it easy to connect Evernote with your existing workflow, whether it's automating tasks or linking notes with other productivity apps. Web clipping is where Evernote truly shines. It offers a dedicated browser extension that lets you save entire web pages, screenshots, or specific portions of an article directly into your notes. For example, if you're doing research for a video on trending gadgets, you can clip product reviews or specs from different websites and organize them neatly into a single notebook. The clipped content retains its formatting and links, so you can refer back to it anytime. Obsidian doesn't have a built-in web clipping tool. While there are third-party plugins that can mimic this feature, they often require additional setup. If you rely heavily on saving and organizing web content, Evernote has a clear edge. Both apps allow file attachments, but the experience differs. In Evernote, you can attach PDFs, Word documents, images, and even audio files directly to a note. For instance, if you're organizing a review of the latest smartphones, you can include product manuals or spec sheets within the same note for easy access. Obsidian supports attachments as well, but the process is less visual. Files are stored alongside your notes in the same directory and linked manually. This setup keeps everything lightweight, but requires a bit more effort to manage. Evernote provides a polished mobile app experience on both iOS and Android. The interface is designed for quick access, which allows you to capture notes, scan documents, or even dictate ideas while on the go. It's perfect for creators who need to jot down content ideas whenever inspiration strikes. Obsidian's mobile app, while functional, feels more like an extension of the desktop experience. It's excellent for reviewing or editing existing notes, but not as optimized for quick note-taking or capturing media on the fly. However, for Markdown enthusiasts, the mobile version works perfectly with synced notes. 
Evernote's tagging system is straightforward yet innovative. You can assign multiple tags to a single note, which makes it easy to find later. For instance, you might tag a note as script, research, and tech to locate it regardless of which category you search. Obsidian takes a slightly different approach with inline tags and front matter metadata. This is great for users who want to embed tags directly within the content of their notes or create advanced workflows, like filtering notes by specific criteria. While it's more flexible, it requires a bit of setup to master. Obsidian is built for offline use, which allows you to access and edit notes without needing an internet connection. This is a major plus for users in areas with limited connectivity or those who prefer working in distraction-free environments. Evernote also supports offline access but only on paid plans. This can be a limitation if you're on the free tier and need your notes on the go. So, which app should you choose? If you're someone who values customization, privacy, and interconnected notes, Obsidian is your best bet. It's perfect for those who enjoy experimenting with how they organize information. But if you're looking for an easy-to-use app with advanced features like web clipping and cloud syncing, Evernote might be the way to go. It's great for capturing information quickly and accessing it from anywhere.